Another historic Elmira home is gaining social media attention and is now on the market. Our H News reporter Nick Dabina took a tour of that home and joins us with more on how the sale of that house could help some local programs. This century-old five-bedroom home on William Street is now on sale for a very low price. So low, in fact, it caught the attention of a TV show. How it ended up on cheap old houses, I'll never know, just because, I mean, probably because it's a cheap old house. What's the current price? $59,900. Real estate broker Michael Hamilton gave us a tour inside 415 William Street after the property got noticed online by Cheap Old Houses, a show that aired its first season on HGTV. The two-story house sits between 2nd and 3rd Street, just a few blocks away from the heart of downtown. One of the th first things you notice on a property like this is that, you know, very high ceilings, 10-foot ceilings for the most part. You've got nine foot doors. Cheap Old Houses posted the listing on its website and Instagram, which has nearly two and a half million followers. The post racked up more than 40,000 likes and hundreds of comments. Many people wanted to know what's the catch. It's been, um, shall we say, abused throughout the years. I mean, it's a grand old place. There's a lot of great architecture here. Look at the craftsmanship in this, this railing here. First and foremost, it's huge. It's a lot of space. The structure itself and, and a lot of the exterior is brick, but there's a lot of wood exterior too that has to be replaced. Brick foundation, stone foundation. Hamilton says the house also needs new electrical, heating, plumbing, and possibly roof work. If I was to guess, you're, you're talking a couple hundred thousand dollars. Three other homes on the block are currently vacant. A family lives next door. The other next door neighbor is Meals on Wheels of Shimon County. The Finn Academy Charter School is just down the block. Property records show the current owner bought the house in 2019 for $28,000. It was previously used by a group that provided care for seniors. The owner wants the money from the sale to keep serving the community. The owner of the property is gifting it to all the proceeds once they liquidate the property to the Salvation Army. It's got incredible character. There's a lot of great aspects to a building like this and it's kind of a tragedy to see them kind of deteriorate without somebody putting a lot of effort into them. To watch the full tour of the interior of the house, we posted it on our website, that's MyTwinTiers.com. In Elmira, I'm Nick Dubina, 18 News.